So a year ago, I showed up to the first day of class, you know, trying to find a place to park. And what ended up happening was I drove around for about, you know, an hour into class time. And even after class ended, driving around campus, trying to, you know, find a place to park and not, and not being successful. And it was through that frustration that I think this project was really born. We wanted a way for students to easily see the status of parking on campus. And on the other side, for the commuter services department to, to manage that, so. Really what we decided to do as a team is, you know, make a combination of hardware and software to solve the problem. We'll go ahead and have a sensor that go ahead and feed to a, you know, display on a phone or on a computer uh, telling you how full or empty parking lots are on campus. We want to make it really easy for students to be able to see that status like immediately, you know, if they're in their car and try, trying to find out where to park and want to get directions, they'd be able to do that. But we also wanted it to be able to be managed easily by uh, an administrator, in this case, the commuter services department at the EU. We wanted them to be able to log in and quickly manage the parking lot without doing anything out of the terminal or anything too complicated. Um, so really that's the uh, origin of the UPARC project. So one of the biggest problems that we ran into, you know, right off the bat going into our prototype phase is how do we go from the hardware sensor that, you know, we created all the way to a front end display that the student can see, you know, really easily. So, you know, we had to make uh, determinations on the hardware aspect, how the API would handle things, uh, all the way to the front end design uh, to basically connect all those elements and, and get a display uh, for the user that was easy, easy to understand. And, you know, that opened up a whole nother set of problems, right? The, you know, how do we display data to the user in, a, in an easy to understand way? Um, and we've been working with that problem, you know, all the way through the project, through our user studies, you know, trying to find the best, the best solution for a student to, you know, be able to see the status of parking on campus. So our first thought was with the sensor, um, we knew we needed something that counted cars, but we didn't know how we wanted to do that. Originally, we were thinking we could get counts for each individual stalls, um, and then we decided it would be easier and cheaper to count cars as they come in and out of the lots. Do we want to count every stall in a parking lot? Because that gives us even better accuracy but it means we have to get devices and sensors for every single stall in the parking lot, and that can add up very quickly. So that was our ch first challenge, and we decided to solve that problem by instead counting cars entering and exiting each parking lot. So that meant we would just need at most um, a few sensors for each parking lot and uh, cut down on costs that way. Um, it detects and tracks cars and any cars that pass it. Um, It'll send a signal to our backend API, which will then update the count. You'll be able to see when a car goes in and a car goes out and get that data. So it's really the, the basis for your part. So we thought about a lot of use cases at the beginning of this project, you know, different uh, types of users and what they would do within our system. Let's take, for example, a student, you know, you go right into the app, you're able to see nearby lots around you, you know, you can see your current location displayed clearly on the map. Um, and then if you have a class in a certain building or you know what parking lot you want to go to, you can quickly search for it, get directions to it and, and be navigated to it, uh, you know, all within the space of a few seconds, really, once you get into the system and understand it. We wanted a way for students to search for a specific building and get a list of lots sorted by distance from that building. We wanted this to give the user an idea of how full a lot was going to be. So I built a, a fullness prediction system, which was based on a recurrent neural network. Um, 
And we basically built that from scratch. So that involves collecting data um, and training models and, and using that model in, in the back end to, to feed um, predictions to the front end. And for the front end side, uh, there's only a few frameworks and we found that after like a week of debating, React is probably the most popular out there. I had no Django experience and no React experience. So as Dom and Hui had set up the development environment, um, I wasn't really a part of that setup. I was kind of thrown in, but I feel like I handled it very well and got brought up to speed very quickly. Our upgrade is to have it completely managed digitally through UPARC. So the admin will be able to log in, see statistics about lots, you know, manage the lots, you know, put sensors on each of the lots uh, in order to give the students a lifetime display of what's going on in the parking lot. So uh, we think that's a dramatic improvement over what's been created before. But on top of that, um, it's also a cost improvement compared to systems that exist today. UPARC in its final, you know, phase, in its final iteration, really is an app that, you know, a student can open up their phone, see the status of parking lots easily, and then even on the other side, commuter services can easily manage parking lots. The UPARC system has solved the problem that we set out uh, to figure out from the beginning of last semester. And we're really proud of the product we created. We think it could be given to the U and make a lot of students' lives easier, not just our own. And at this point, we're really proud of what we created and we're excited to graduate. Yeah, this project has been really exciting to work on and I would be very excited to continue work on it, um, time permitting.